This is a video from everystepcalculus.com demonstrating how my programs work on a TI-89 titanium calculator and other calculators in the TI system for calculus and physics problems. Okay, implicit differentiation. How my programs work on that. And let's get started. You have to press second alpha to put the letters I, N, D, E, X in here. And you have to press alpha to put the 8 in the open closed parentheses. Press enter and you're into my menu. I'm already at implicit differentiation, but you can scroll to whatever you want here. And we're going to press enter. And we're going to enter our function. You have to uh, press alpha before you enter anything in these entry lines here. So remember that alpha. And let's go um, 5 times x times y minus 3 times x squared times y plus 4 times y equals 6. I always show you what you've entered, and you can change it if you want. Notice that this equals 6. A lot of times you get a problem where there's the this 4y will be on this side over here. Well, you need to transpose it over to the other side. So this would be a minus 4y over here, 6 minus 4y. So make sure you just have the 0 or the uh, constant on the right side to where it equals. They'll trick you on that in tests. I say it's okay. I'm going to press 1 here. And you're going to take d dx of every term in that function, which I'm doing here. Show you write this on your paper right here. And we're going to take the first term. And you notice that it's going to be the product rule because you're multiplying two functions times y and x here. So now I show you the steps for the product rule, but you can go quickly if you practice and go right to the answer, which is this answer here. And it separates dy dx terms into uh, one s spot for the uh, ordinary terms. And the next term is another product rule, so you, I show you if you want to write that down or be interested. And here's the answer. And then the d, d y dx of four, 4 times y equals this d y dx. And then the uh, d y dx of 6 equals 0. That's the object to make it 0 on the right side. And of course, the derivative of a constant is 0. So we've grouped all the ordinary terms and the d y dx terms and equals 0. You're going to transpose this now over to the right side which is here. Change the signs, of course. It does that automatically for you. And here's the answer. dy dx equals uh, this and this. Um, let's do it at a... let's evaluate at a point. That's always fun. Um, press alpha. Let's do point at 2 and alpha 9. So we're going to evaluate at this point here. Again, I show you in case you made a mistake. And you're going to plug these numbers in. This is for the x's and the y values right here, in the, all entered into here. And it does the calculation, 63 over 2. And of course, it, a tangent to the minus 1 of 30, arc tangent of 31.5 is, here's the actual degrees of it, but you can, if you, this is rise over run, remember you can go up 63 points on the y-axis and, and over 2 to the right on the x-axis, draw a line from there down through the origin of that graph, and you've, you've found the slope of that line, and that's 88.2 degrees. Pretty neat, huh? Every step, calculus.com, go to my site, buy my programs, and pass calculus.